Hello, and welcome to today's Let's Get Technical discussion. My name is Alex Huntington, and um, I am Hanover's in-house CAD designer. Today's topic of discussion is going to be our Roof and Plaza Layout Assist program and how that can help you determine how many pavers you need and ultimately how many pedestals you need for your project. A little bit, I thought I'd give a brief background about myself. In 2016, I started my career here at Hanover working in the manufacturing plant while I was finishing up my architectural degree. In 2018, I graduated with my bachelor's in environmental design and architecture and began working full-time here at Hanover as a customer representative for the Southeast region. In 2019, the opportunity presented itself to me to take over the duties of the previous CAD designer here at Hanover. And in those two years of working with the Roof and Plaza Layout Assist Program, we have completed over 350 different and unique projects all across the United States. So let's get started and talk about how you can enter this program and uh, what you need to do for us in order to, for us to supply you with the drawing. Most of the requests I get um, from our customers are sent directly to um, your regional sales rep. Um, let's say you have a project, you're not sure how many pedestals you're going to need. Um, you're unsure of different elevations and the different components. Um, say something to your customer rep. Say, hey, I have some drawings. Would you be able to help me with the layout? And we would be able to um, provide you with the drawing um, to give you the best estimated quantities that we can provide. Another way to get involved in this program is there's a form online um, at HanoverPavers.com. Uh, there you can fill out the form, just answering a few basic questions about your project. And when, is that, when that is completed, the form is then forwarded to the assistant technical director, depending on which region your project's located. And then they will reach out to you and start to have some dialogue about your project and what you're able to provide to us for us to provide you with the layout. So let's talk about the required drawings or the recommended drawings. As I could say, um, we prefer to have DWG files, which would just be CAD files. I have the most recent version of CAD. Um, so any previous version that you may have is what we would recommend in order to provide you with the more accurate quantities. Um, PDF drawings, we will be able to import into CAD. However, there's always some discrepancies when importing in and some PDFs are not as good as others. So we may come back to you um, asking for a little bit better or more high quality documents for us to use. Um, that way it just helps us create, you know, the best accuracy that we can provide and just be more consistent with our drawings. So I have a few uh, examples here today I'd like to share with you and kind of give you an example of what these layout drawings may look like um, when they are sent back to you. So if I go to this first example here, this project's located out in San Jose, California. And you can see here, I have my total quantities. I had it broken out into three separate floors. Um, there's, a, there's three separate colors. And you can also see here at the end, I have a points of contact quantity. Now this is the most um, common drawing that Hanover supplies to its customers. And this is a great tool to be utilized in order to give you an estimated quantity for pedestals. So I have my quantities broken out into each floor. I'm using a standard 23 and a half by 23 and a half inch uh, roof paver, which is our most common size. And getting into the drawings itself, you can see I'm just gonna go through a couple, there's three floors for this project. I'm only gonna show you two, but you can tell by the lines, it looks like an incomplete drawing. And that's because this drawing was actually constructed from two separate PDF drawings on two separate pages. Uh, the match line was somewhere in the center of the drawing. And these, and these PDFs were then combined in order to create this full layout because it's a quite a large plaza deck. Um, so anytime we have to modify the drawings or individually construct them from separate pages, there's always room for error. So this is a good example of why we prefer CAD files. Um, you can see better on this page, there's a very distinct pattern that they were using as in the previous form. 
Um, and you can start to get into more detail with your points of contact and how you're going to be cutting around these certain areas. Pay real close attention to some of these lines in here. You can easily tell that this is constructed from a PDF drawing. Some of the lines are merged over other lines. It gets a little messy when hatches are overlaid with one another. Um, but ultimately, we can get pretty accurate with paper counts and also points of contact, um, depending on what um, size paver, what color pattern you're planning to use. So we're going to go in here to the next project, very similar format. I have a title page broken out with quantities for each floor. And this time they're using a nominal 18 by 36 inch paver and they're going to be utilizing it in a running bond pattern. Uh, most of the projects that I do are standard two by two pavers and a stack bond but there's always those very unique projects where you have a specific lane pattern. And if you would like to see that, it's something to be cognizant about and supply to us before we begin the layout assist drawing. So just taking a look at one of these example floors, you can clearly see the lines are more defined. Um, there's a lot more detail in the surrounding context. Um, you can see with the paper layout itself, the detail in the outline cutting out through some of the doorways, and windows, and also around the different columns. So this is one, just a really good example of why we recommend a CAD file. Makes it makes our job a lot easier. And we are also able to provide you with the best information. So the better information you can supply to us, the most accurate and the most um, consistent information we can provide to you. Um, so yeah, this is an example of the second floor. And then I have an example of the 15th floor. And one thing that is very important also when doing these layout assists is your starting points. This is a good example because you have multiple different roof decks on this floor. But as you can see, if I zoom in, I have a starting point for each individual terrace area. This starting point is centered on the doorway, giving you equal cuts on either side. Um, a lot of the starting points um, for these drawings, um, I'm going to be starting them at the doorway. Those are your highest traffic areas. You want a full paver size there. You don't want small cuts around uh, your doorways. So we always tend to provide a starting point for you, giving your cut pieces towards the perimeters. And if it presents itself to us, we can provide an oversized paver. That way you're not supporting smaller pavers on, um, on pedestals. Anything less than six inches, we recommend an oversized paver for. So now we're gonna get into um, the most intricate uh, drawing that we can provide you, which would be a full pedestal takeoff. Um, you can see visually the drawings a different style than the others. Um, but the amount of information on here is a lot greater than the other drawings, being that we gave quantities for individual pedestal components. So as you can see up here in the top left, I have my total quantities for pavers and also points of contact. I start out the drawing the same way I would start out just a regular layout drawing. You can see underneath here, a section was provided that I was able to scale to full size and take a height at their smallest point at, as, I'm sorry, at their highest point on the roof deck, the lowest threshold, um, and take, um, and I was able to take a height at their lowest point. So in this case, it was 13 sixteenths of an inch. Once I had plotted out my pavers and points of contact, I was given information about the drainage locations. So as you can see, my drains would be at the center right here. And then I would also have a ridge line between the two. You can see indicated on the drawing, there is a quarter of an inch per one foot pitch. I take into account at least two compensators for those areas. Um, each compensator compensates for one eighth of an inch and each compensator is a half an inch thick. So wherever those areas allow me to subtract that information out, I can subtract the two and figure my heights for pedestals. So I'll zoom in here on the section so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. So I draw my sections um, based off the slopes provided and the information about your drainage on your project. 
And in this case, you can see my 13 16 at my highest point. You can see I slope at a quarter of an inch and the pink lines that are represented on here would be my half inch thickness for each compensator. So you can see the first couple pedestal placements were unable to use compensators to compensate for a roof pitch. I then take the dimension from either the existing substrate or the top of the compensator to the bottom of my paver. These lines are extended from my points of contact and you can see all these different numbers within the actual plan itself. So taking into consideration your number one, if you go up to the top of the drawing in the chart, this is where I give my total quantities for individual pedestal components. My number one, as you can see, is a two compensators and a two inch top, two inch base elevator pedestal. Now there's a lot of different components on this. There's in fact, 26 different configurations, but those are all because you're working with a stack of a pedestal. Um, you can see my number four, I have two high tabs, four one eighth inch leveling plates and one one sixteenth inch leveling plate. The only difference between a number four and a number five is one one eighth inch leveling plate. So we can get very technical. We can be very exact in our quantities and it can get a little confusing um, trying to add all these up. So if you have any problems, you know, tallying these um, quantities up, um, please feel free to email us and say, hey, can you help us out? We do anything we can to help you get the quantities you need for your project. Real briefly, I'd like to talk about one more project. And this is St. Mary's University out in Minnesota. And this drawing was actually constructed from a non-original PDF. Um, earlier, I said that we recommend a high quality PDF, that way you can generate lines from that drawing. In this case, we could not, but we were given overall, overall dimensions for your roof deck. In this case, we had then overlaid our tapered plan, which you can see if I zoom in, you can see the different tapered panels. And then very similar to the last rung I showed you, we created a section in which we extended our points of contact down and we were able to measure the heights for each pedestal. In this case, um, we were in this specific project, we were given the freedom to provide a minimum height um, for our paver and pedestal system. So we recommended one and five eighths of an inch. Now that one and five eighths of an inch takes into consideration for two compensators and one high tab pedestal. So that is provided at your highest point on your roof deck. And then you know the remaining pedestal heights are going to be higher than that. So you're able to use compensators throughout, unlike the other project that showed you. So going, going in real quick, the quantities are very similar. Um, this time we have more elevator pedestals. Um, there's a lot less configurations, there's a lot less different types. Um, but overall, the same information is supplied and it's a very comprehensive analysis um, of this roof deck. So we can get as accurate as the information that you supply to us. Um, we recommend the CAD drawings of, all, of the plan and also section drawings that we could take pedestal heights from. And once we have that information, we are then able to supply you with our best estimate for your paver and pedestal quantities for your project. So. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Um, if you have any questions at all, feel free to email us here at letsgettech at hanoverpavers.com here at the bottom of the screen. And also, this is the link on our website that you're able to find the form to fill out for the roof and plaza layout assist. Under products, you go to roof pavers and pedestal systems. And here at the bottom, you're able to fill out that form and send it to us. And and in two weeks, uh, Chris Slusser will be doing a presentation on high wind design and different um, high wind solutions. So it should be a really interesting topic of discussion. Uh, again, thank you for joining me today.